father of early modern medicine. 10th century, no Newton, Galileo, and Einstein. But, do you know, who is called, the father of early modern medicine? He is Ibn Sina. He was a polymath. A person, who has, deep knowledge, of a range of subjects. He was a scientist, physician, astronomer, mathematician, poet, and, philosopher. Ibn Sina, is the most important, scientific figure, of the Islamic Golden Age. He was the author, of possibly, over 450 books. Enough to fill a small library. His most famous books are, The Canon of Medicine, and The Book of Healing. Ibn Sina, is the most important, scientific figure, of the Islamic Golden Age. The Canon of Medicine, forever changed, how we understood, the human body. It remained, the standard medical textbook, in Islamic, and European universities, for 600 years, after Ibn Sina's death. In fact, he was the first, to study, the antiseptic nature, of alcohol. Antiseptics help in preventing infections. Alcohol is a very common antiseptic today. Ibn Sina, was born in Persia, in 980 AD. He became a Hafiz A Quran, when he was 10. He immersed himself in the study of medicine at the age of 16 and became a physician by the age of 18. At 18, he served as a physician for the Sultan of Bukhara. He cured the Sultan of an illness that baffled all the renowned physicians. The Sultan rewarded Ibn Sina by giving him access to the royal library. There, he continued his research and read many rare manuscripts. Ibn Sina set up a medical practice in al riyi He treated his poor patients for free. He also wrote around 30 books during his time there. He then moved to Hamadan and cured the ruler, Amir Shams, of severe illness. The Amir, grateful and impressed, then appointed Ibn Sina as his physician and Grand Vizier. He moved from Hamadan to Isfahan and finished his epic writings. He spent his final few years serving Isfahan ruler, Amir Allah al Dawla. Ibn Sina was around 57 years old when he died. Ibn Sina was extremely curious about the soul and its connection to the body. He wrote that our souls are created with the body and the body is used as a tool. The habits we form and the knowledge we gain contribute to the differences between souls. The soul continues to exist when we die with all the characteristics developed during our lives. He based his logic and assumptions on the teachings of the Holy Quran. Another of Ibn Sina's impressive accomplishments was translating many ancient Greek texts into Arabic. These texts advanced learning in the Islamic world and helped the Western world develop their understandings of science and philosophy centuries later. Ibn Sina was a genius, always in search of knowledge. He is a great Muslim hero, who teaches us, we always have to be on the path of knowledge, to learn more about ourselves, about God, and the world around us.